Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another synthetic wig review for you guys. So today's wig review is brought to you by IamAHair.com. The wig that I chose is a very popular wig right now on YouTube and just like in the wig community in general. Um, and this is from Sensational's newest line, Cloud9 Swiss Lace Wig. And this is from their Wet Lace Collection. Um, it's 100% premium fiber, so it's a more high quality synthetic wig. And I have the style Morgan. I didn't even know this particular line existed until Aya All Day uploaded her review um, about a month ago now. I didn't even know Sensational came out with this line. So I watched her review and I have seen other people start to review this wig as well. Um, I decided to go with a color. I have it in Flamboyage Chocolate. I haven't opened this package yet, so we're gonna be doing this together. So this is what the box looks like. This is what Morgan looks like on the model here. It says it's supposed to have undetectable lace, so let's hope. I really like that they do have the standard colors like 1B, uh, ones, twos, and fours, but they do have um, just a nice variety of mixed colors. Uh, the flamboyage is a trending hair color technique. It combines ombre and balayage to uh, achieve a soft peekaboo highlights. So that's really cool. So I usually don't read these um, like, you know, instructions manuals, but this is a new collection and I'm curious to see like what they have going on. 100% hand tied and pre plucked to create a realistic, natural density illusion hairline. It's undetectable, translucent Swiss lace for a seamless hairline and natural parting right out of the box. So we will test to see if it is um, like undetectable right outside the box. It's well crafted, soft Swiss lace ear to ear. So it's kind of like a frontal. So it is like a frontal with combs and adjustable straps for a secure fit features 13 by 6 ear to ear with 6 inches of deep hand tied I'm assuming that means part pre plucked natural density undetected flawless hairline uh, perfect hairline with baby hair along the hairline pre custom pre customized unit no leave out necessary so if this wig is what they say it is this is going to be perfect for people who don't like to do all the customizing that you see a lot of us uh, wig gurus and stuff do on YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Morgan. This color is very, very beautiful. This is what the hairline is looking like. It does look like they did tweeze it. It doesn't look you guys know what synthetic wigs and I've just come to accept it. The hairline is not like a gradual natural hairline. It's usually very thick right at the start, but this one is gradual. It does come with that soft Swiss lace. Yeah, up there. 13 by six ear to ear lace. A comb on the far left and right. A comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. So, I'm just going to try it on without my wig grip. I'm going to switch to my brown wig cap because sometimes the super light wig caps just look, you can see them through your wig. So I'm going to put on my medium brown wig cap. It looks like just fresh out the pack, no lace cut or anything. We're going to see what that looks like. Does look that does look really the hairline looks really good can't fake that that looks good um but even then you can see my wig cap so I probably won't even wear a wig cap so um it doesn't interfere with how realistic this looks all right, I couldn't find a black wig cap, so I just have on the spandex dome cap, so I hope it works. I can still see my wig cap through there. I'm just have to wear it without one. Yeah, so far this is the most natural, and I've tried light brown, brown, and a cap that is black, even though it's not a, a actual like 
thin wig cap. So I'm gonna pin this back and show you guys the hairline. And the lace actually really does go ear to ear, which never, which hardly ever happens with synthetic wigs. I can tell you guys that this is a um, large cap. It feels very roomy. This is what the hairline is looking like. It looks very, very good. And I do like this color of, of the wig. So it is like a chocolate brown. Um, but it's not so light of a chocolate brown that it's gonna look awkward with uh, my dark eyebrows and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace while it's on my head just so it looks a little bit more natural. All right, um, that's what it looks like right now. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna treat this like I would a human hair wig. I'm gonna use my Got To Be Glued spray and spray it on the lace at the front um, because I'm gonna be wearing this down for the most part. And I'm gonna tie it up just so the lace is really flat on my head because the lace is lifting because this is a bigger cap and I don't have on a wig grip. So maybe if you wore a wig grip that wouldn't be an issue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this on the hairline and press it in. And I'm using my three-in-one edge brush that has like that lace applicator. I've been using this a lot, a lot more than my regular edge brush. Just for this feature for the most part.
All right guys, so I'm back and I have finished applying this wig to my head. So I'm going to tell you guys what I think about Morgan. So, um, this company or this particular line claims to be able to put this on straight out the box without any, um, customizing on our end. So that is true. I did not customize this at all. All I did was put it on my head and then I adhered it down with got to be with a got to be glued spray. Um, now some people might be like, well, you're still doing something to it, but with all of my human hair wigs, especially like frontals, I still like um, adhere them down with something, whether I have elastic in the cap or whatever. This one, I guess you could adjust your straps in the back and it wouldn't, the lace wouldn't lift as much, but um, all I did was add the got to be glued spray and then just to make the knots, the knots look faux bleached. Um, I use my press powder to make the lace blend in with my skin a little bit more and to make the knots look like they're bleached because this is synthetic. So you can't bleach your knots like you would a human hair wig. So that is very impressive that the hairline actually comes, um, customized. So this wig, in my opinion, is going to be a good wig for beginners. Um, a lot of beginners don't like customizing their wigs because they don't know how to do it. Or some people just don't like having to customize their wigs to make them look natural. This looks very, very natural. Um, this looks like a human hair wig. Or it just looks, just looks like my hair. And the way that they colored this wig with the flamboyage chocolate is very beautiful. So it has that number four color and then it goes into this more reddish brown color. So, um, Morgan falls on me about 20, 20 inches long and you can wear her as a side part. And I showed you guys like the parting space on the left and right side, but most of the parting space that you're going to get is in the middle. So that's why I decided to wear it as a middle part. So this is what it looks like in the back. To me, it has a very natural density, and I don't mean that in a it's thin kind of way. Um, I just feel like it looks very natural. Because it has the illusion hairline where it gradually gets thicker, um, I just feel like that complements this density. It's not thin, but it's not like super thick. This is a beautifully made synthetic wig. So I do get the hype. This is a really nice wig and I'm glad that I finally tried it. So far, I'm trying to think of any cons that I might have, and honestly, I don't have any. Um, I do have some shedding, but it's not like, it's not that crazy. And honestly, it probably came from when I was cutting like around my ear. When I was watching um, Aya All Day's video, she did wear hers in a half up, half down style, so you can do that. And I just showed you quickly me pulling it out of my face. So you can um, like it here, the front down all the way and then wear it, wear it out of your face or in a ponytail, but I'm not going to do that today. I really only have like this area right here, it here down. And then by the ears, I don't have that part um, glued down, but you can, if you want to, the luster of this wig is very natural. And I was getting a little bit of tangling, especially when I was trying to figure out the direction of the parting space, like if I wanted it as a middle part or, or a side part. So I did get a little bit of tangling there, a little bit right now, but it's not horrible yet. Um, yeah, but overall Morgan is a really nice wig, period. Like synthetic or human hair, this is a really nice wig. And I'm glad I tried it before I did like my favorites because I'm going to live with this wig a little bit more before I do my um, yearly, you know, synthetic wig favorites video. And that's coming up this month. I am also going to be doing another review from the same collection and we'll see how consistent um, the next wig is going to be. The next one is going to be Solana. So it's probably not going to be up right away, but it'll be up soon. So just look out for that. 
for that. So if you are interested in Morgan, Morgan is I believe like $55, which is higher, which is a higher price point than or typical synthetic wigs, but honestly, I feel like it's worth it. It really is. Like you really could sew some elastic in this cap and make it like a human hair wig. And sensational, y'all did that for real. Like they they obviously listen to the trends going around in the hair and wig community and they see how, you know, Frontals are the biggest thing right now, and they did a really good job on this week. So I'm curious to see how the other wigs from this collection um, are, and if they are as good of quality as this one. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're gonna try this wig in the comment section, or if you already have this wig, let me know how you are enjoying it or not. I want to thank I Am A Hair for sending me this wig to review for you guys and thank you guys so much for watching and make sure your notifications are turned on and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.